Hey, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a decorate with me Easter edition coffee bar, y'all. All right, so we are going to wipe down and clean up this tabletop, y'all, because listen, it was a lot of glitter and leftover stuff from Valentine's Day. So we gotta make sure it's nice and clean before we start our display. Then we are just gonna hop right into the decorating part. So I found this super cute little sign at Hobby Lobby for $4.99. You guys know I love me a nice wooden earthy tone look while also keeping it nice and pink and neutral. So I could not leave this sign because it literally looks so perfect. And of course it says Cottontail Cafe. So yes, it's perfect for the coffee bar. Next up, we are going to try to style this Target little Easter bunny ear display. But y'all, if y'all had this, well, I know a lot of people do have this. How in the world did y'all style this? Because when I first opened it up, it was so small. And I was like, wow, all of my like little pieces that I had in mind to decorate this piece with definitely was not fitting. So I went ahead and grabbed these cute little, mm, what do you call these things, y'all? They gonna be little candy holders because that's exactly what I'm using them for. But I thought they were so cute from Home Goods. I think it was like $4.99 for two, and the pink literally matches with all the other pink aesthetics right here in my coffee bar. So I had to have it. Next up is this cute little bunny holding a egg. This one is from Target, you guys. I believe it's five dollars. Um, so this is pretty much how I'm styling this little tray. Like literally a cute little. And y'all had to turn the tray around because it was getting ready to flip over. So yes, you might want to make sure the hard part is facing you when you put your pieces on there. <laughs> so yes, I'm putting this little bunny there and two little candy holders at the bottom because this little tray, like I was saying, is very minimal. It's small and it's not much you can put on there. And plus, I don't like an overcrowded look, so I thought this is literally subtle and all I need. Okay, and let's get to my little DIY, y'all. I'm gonna insert a before picture, so this is the after. And oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys were giving me on my first major DIY. Like what? Your girl did that. Also, if you would love to know the paint colors and stuff, just let me know in the comment section. I will be glad and happy to leave those for you guys. Again, I just feel like when you find a cute little piece and it's not matching your aesthetics, just go ahead and paint it. All right, next up is our cute little egg with sequins and beads. These are from Ross, you guys. Again, a lot of this stuff I had already went over in my haul, so be sure to check those out after you watch this video. But I just put those on top of the coffee bar because I'll use them occasionally as I go. The super cute mug from Ross, $5. Everybody literally loves this mug and it's just the cutest for Easter. So I'm going to definitely place this one on my coffee machine so that it can be displayed. It gives it a little bit more character. Okay, next up is my little pieces. I did go ahead and wash these um, with soap and water and now I'm just drying it because, well, I'm gonna put candy in there and I don't really want to just use it straight out of the box. So yeah, just cleaning that up and drying them off, y'all. And y'all gonna see where I'm about to struggle. And if y'all follow me on Instagram, <laughs> y'all know the catastrophe that happened to me while trying to record this video for y'all with the whole trying to find pink candies to match the can the coffee bar. I was trying to do like a little candy little area right here. Y'all, it was just a mess, but nevertheless, we figured it out. So here's what I got from Target, some M&Ms, and I was trying to grab myself the cute pink peanut M&Ms because I love me some peanut M&Ms and the whole family does. So I'm like, I'll just take the pink ones out, put in my little candy dish right here and then you know put the rest downstairs for the family and why in the world y'all was there literally like five pink ones out of this whole 10 ounce bag five and i thought i was gonna fill up my little gumball machine thingy here uh -uh. no wasn't happening like this is just absolutely ridiculous but nevertheless your girl figured out another alternative but as you see this bag was full of every other color but pink I think Eminem has something against us pink girls in the pink community because this is just discrimination, y'all. So pretty much I just put them in the little candy dish because I was like, all right, well, whatever. I mean, <laughs> just put them in there for now. They won't last long, but 
it's cute then i went ahead and grabbed me some starburst jelly beans these are all the pinks and red ones y'all so these are the good flavors like watermelon strawberry and i think cherry so that's going in the other dish and i don't know about y'all but i love me some easter candy let me know what's your favorite easter candy i'm telling y'all we're gonna have to work out all season because easter can get very scary when it comes to sweets okay now i found these super cute bunny marshmallows they are absolutely delish like usually i buy these marshmallows for aesthetics but y'all this was so good it's like super sweet almost like a cotton candy taste like i loved it but anyway i'm using these to actually put in my little bunny gumball machine here because this is clearly a way better alternative than five little lonely m ms so this worked out really cute plus i like that it gave this gumball machine more of a pink feel because I did go with the white one instead of the pink dish because again I want to keep it pink and white so I didn't want too much pink and not enough white or neutral look so this one was super cute for my coffee bar I loved it so just now adding the finished touches and then we are all done found these really cute paper cups that I definitely need to have because I love my seasonal on-the-go paper cups because I am on the go a lot. So these were the cutest ones I could find, you guys. Let me know if you found any other cute pink ones for Easter because this is all I got. I mean, I really haven't been in the store too much this season because at first, y'all know I wasn't even sure if I was gonna decorate for Easter, but I did. And I'm happy it's actually coming out looking somewhat sustainable for the season. Also, I swapped out that mug because this wasn't giving enough neutral. And of course, this is my only favorite neutral mug and it looks better. All right, on to the coffee bar underneath where I store all my lovely mugs. Now, I know if you're new here, you may be like, oh my God, what a hoarder. However, there is a difference between hoarding and collecting. I'm a collector, y'all. So if you're new here, it's called collecting. But if you're not, y'all know this is all the cute stuff that we've been collecting all year. So yes, I'm just gonna put all my cute little Easter mugs here that I found, the few that I found, because I really didn't find too many. Usually I kind of clean this all out and take everything out, but I've been getting lazy ever since Christmas. If y'all take a look, you see I got some Christmas and clearly all of my Valentine, well not all of them, I had a lot of Valentine mugs, but most of my Valentine mugs are still there. So yeah, um, I just kind of made a little bit of space, just enough to add the newest mugs that I found. So yes and i'm still out here finding cute mugs like you know what's gonna happen this is gonna be the season where just the cute mugs are gonna be the last thing to find because like i just found this one and i was like all right because at first i swear when if y'all watched my last haul i think it was where i was showing all the mugs i got this season i swear i only had like four or five or maybe like yeah and i usually go all out if y'all know i go out like i love my coffee station just being full of like seasonal mugs but yeah, I found all these cute mugs at Home Goods the other day. These are like so cute. And it's different. It's 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 very different. I loved it. So that's my little collection. Also, I meant to mention that cute little bling tumbler that says Happy Easter, the pink one, to the right of you guys. That is from Cute Creations by Melly. Oh my goodness, I love all of her little customized tumblers and cups and mugs. So you guys give her a hit up, check her out if you're interested in that cup. So maybe I did have more mugs than I thought. So now I'm in here still moving things around because I thought I didn't have that many. <laughs> but I did find some from last year, like that bunny buns. Oh my God, still obsessed with that. And that little topper, just too cute. But that was from last year. Now I did find two more cute ones from Ross, some Joanna Parker mugs. And I thought these were cute because it's just really pink and white. Usually Joanna Parker has a lot of colors that I really don't get down with. But some of the colors, like pink and white, or for Christmas, her pink with the mint green, those are the mugs that I love the most. So these two that I found at Ross, I could not pass up. They were so cute. And they're little. I love little mini mugs. I also thought I was going to be able to fit these on my tear tray, the bunny one, but nope. Too big. They're not small enough. And just like that, we are done. 
I absolutely hope you guys love decorating with me. I absolutely love how cute and subtle the coffee bar has turned out. Comment below your favorite part of this video. Again, stay tuned because next will be my decorate with me Easter tree, y'all. So see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.